you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Smart Zone Controller based on a high-scale deployment of version 5.2. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll provide an example of how to configure a firewall profile and apply it to a wireless LAN. So let's get started. First, we'll log into a high-scale instance of the Virtual Smart Zone Controller. Once logged in, you can see that this instance is running version 5.2.0.0.699, or simply referred to as 5.2. Hopefully, you've already viewed the demonstrations that explain how to configure the various policies available on the Smart Zone Controller running release 5.2. If not, I highly recommend viewing those before this demonstration. Still here? Okay. Before we talk about configuring firewall profiles, let's review what a firewall profile is. A firewall profile is a single logical entity that combines individual policies together for simpler application and management. In this demonstration, I'll be configuring a firewall profile that will be used as a baseline for customers of a managed service provider or MSP. These are the policies I want to apply to these customers. Under L3 Access Control, I have a Customer L3 Policy. Under L2 Access Control, I have a Customer L2 Policy. Under Application Control, I have a Customer Application Policy. Under URL Filtering, I have a Customer URL Policy. And under Device Policy, I have a Customer Device Policy. Okay, now let's get to the firewall profile configuration. You can get to firewall profiles by clicking on firewall in the left hand pane. The summary tab is displayed by default and activity on any configured firewall profiles would be displayed here. But new firewall profiles are configured under the profiles tab. Any configured firewall profiles will be displayed here. Like policies, firewall profiles can be applied at the system level or at a partner domain level. Not only does this level indicate where the firewall profile can be applied, it also dictates which individual policies will be available to the firewall profile. We'll configure this firewall profile under the MSP domain. New firewall profiles are defined by clicking on the Create button. The first thing you'll need to enter here is a name, as well as an optional description. In this example, I'll create a firewall profile to be applied to a customer wireless LAN, so I'll call it Customer Firewall Profile. Next, I have the option to configure rate limiting for the entire profile. You may recall that some of the individual policies also have rate limiting configurations. If you have rate limiting configured on an individual policy that is part of a firewall profile, the configuration of the individual policy takes precedence. Essentially, the rate limiting configured here is only applied to traffic that doesn't match an individual member policy that also has rate limiting configured. Next, we select which policies we want to include in the firewall profile. You are allowed one policy of each of the five policy types. Layer 3 Access Control, Layer 2 Access Control, Application Policy, URL Filtering, and Device Policy. When you're done, click OK to save your profile. Next, we'll apply the firewall profile to a wireless LAN. We'll head over to Wireless LANs, and I'll select the Customer Wireless LAN I already have configured. Click the Configure button to open the WLAN configuration window, and scroll down to the Firewall Options section. By default, WLANs have the system default firewall profile applied, which does not filter any traffic. To apply a different profile, you only need to select it from the drop-down list. Once you've done that, you'll see the individual policies get populated in the Read Only section below. You also need to remember that if your firewall profile includes an application policy, the application recognition and control toggle must be set to on. Likewise, if your firewall profile includes a URL filtering policy, the URL filtering toggle switch must be set to on. We have both policy types, so both toggles must be set to on. Now we can click OK to apply the policy to the wireless LAN. If you select the WLAN and scroll down to the Firewall Options section, you can see that the Firewall Profile is now applied and each of the individual policies that are applied. One last demonstration, and this is a great benefit of Firewall Profiles. I can navigate to the Firewall Profile and change one of the policies. When I navigate back to the Wireless LAN, 
you can see the WLAN automatically gets the new policy applied. So if you deploy a firewall profile to multiple wireless LANs, changes in one place will automatically be rolled out to various wireless LANs without impacting any other policies. This concludes the demonstration on configuring firewall profiles on a high-scale smart zone controller running release 5.2. Thanks for taking the time to view this demonstration. Thank you.